So, hello. Welcome back. Um, past couple weeks have been kind of hectic. I haven't posted an actual episode in like three weeks, something like that. Might be a month at this point, honestly. Something crazy. <laughs> so, uh, if you're on the audio version, it's it's definitely been a while. If you're on the video version, then we we'll probably skipped a few episodes. Um, I am trying to get everything under control right now. So, all of everything that I'm doing is weird. Um, I'm just, I'm in a transitional period right now. Uh, and I talk more about it on my ramble that I have on my actual YouTube channel. So, if you guys want to hear about it, go over there. On this episode, though, I kind of want to talk about everything surrounding the change in environment and in lifestyle and I just want to talk about how important it is sometimes just to go through these changes um because the more you go through them, the more comfortable you get in adjusting. I think that before every major change in life and everything, like you just get tons of anxiety because you're just not sure how it's going to go. Um, I know I did. Like I talked about it on another episode not too long ago where it's just like I was just I came back from vacation around this time like a month ago and I was just freaking out because I couldn't like it was so much that was about to happen and so much that was still going on that hadn't been resolved and it's just like how do I deal with all of this like I was freaking out about things that didn't matter, (laughs) uh, you know, it was, it was a period in time where I was, like, really anxious, like, in my relationship, and with my friends, and everything was just, I was just freaking out, like, I was just being weird about stuff, because I just had so much anxiety, it was so much going through my head at once, and I was so unsure And I knew nothing was going to stop me from making this step, but it was just like, once I get there, what is this going to be like? Like, (laughs) everything's going to change again. And it's just like, I don't know if I'm ready for that. And the truth of the matter is, I wasn't ready, but I was at the same time. You are as ready as you need to be. Because you're never going to actually be 100% prepared. And that's just the truth of the matter. And there have been some things that while I've been here, while I've moved, um, that I've had to figure out on the fly. Some things that maybe I could have handled before that are just now getting figured out in its entirety. And with my scheduling and everything, like... As you guys can tell, like, especially if you're in the video version, there's just, the video is weird. Like, there's no actual recording. And that's because I'm not sure how to set it up. And even if I was, I'm having trouble with my cameras and my gear and everything. And I talk about that on my channel. Um, There's ways to make everything work, but it's just, when you're unsure about it, It's hard to make that change, but it's important to make that change anyways, because once you get into it, you, you figure it out. Your, your fight or flight goes on. And that's how it was once I got here. Once I got here and once everybody was gone from helping me move and once it was over with, I just, it felt like I knew exactly what I needed to do. 
and I've been doing it and I've been really proud of myself. I've been here for about a week and a half now and I feel like I've handled it pretty well in terms of adapting myself to my new environment and changing the way I go about everyday life and the things that I do. I feel like I've tapped into a new mode that's kind of been unfamiliar to me for about a year and a half now. Um, I feel like I just tapped into a greater version of what I was before when I was out on my own. And that's the thing though, like, even though I've done it before, there was still all that anxiety there. And yet, because I've done it before, there's a level of comfortability now that I've settled into it. And that's going to happen. That's just, that's just going to happen. So don't let that anxiousness, that feeling of dread, that not knowing how it's going to turn out. Don't let that stop you from taking that step. Because the thing, the truth of the matter is, the more you do something, the more you up and go, the more you change environments, and the more you fail and succeed and succeed and fail, the more comfortable you get in whatever your outcome is going to be. But even if you're the most comfortable person in that arena ever, you're still going to get some nerves, you're still going to get some feelings of, I don't know, some uneasiness because you're a human and that's just a human emotion. That's just a human thought process, but that's okay. That's okay. And don't let, don't let that stop you from going ahead and taking that. And if you see somebody else going through it, just be that voice because it's super important. My, my my friend that I do my grandma table podcast with, Christian, he, when I was having my freak out, he just came up like in the middle of the night and came and sat and talked with me. And I just needed that at that time, you know, like my girlfriend, when I was tripping, like she said some things to me that I I'd be repeating still like two weeks later because it's just those words are profound and I needed that in that moment. And so like when Christian's going through stuff, I've, I'm always here for him. When my girlfriend's going through stuff like just recently, I just, you know, like I wanted, I had to be there for her. like <clears throat> had to send positive words and put that love back into it and put that energy back into it. And it's not a thing of, oh, I'm looking for anything in return. It's just people are there for me in my time of need. And so I'll be here for them in their time of need. And you never know when someone's time of need is. So the people that are there for you when you're going through, when you have these anxious thoughts, when you're getting ready to go into a new arena in life and you're just not sure, make sure you're there for them when they when they get ready to do it, too, because we all need that. You know, sometimes when we get anxious, people outside of ourselves can help be a calming effect for us. They can help, you know, ease our minds and put us in a place that we can't really put ourselves into in the moment. And that's super important. Super important. Pay that back. Pay that back to the people that are there for you. You know, and give it sometimes give it first. And, and just see who's there second, you know, give it first and see who's there for you. You know, you just never know. I think it'll just make the world a better place if we were to all come together in our times and needs, because especially around this time in life, we're all just going through transitional periods and you never know when someone's going through a transitional period. And it's just, you know. If, if it's you, have the wherewithal to be able to keep going through that despite your anxieties and surround yourself with people that are going to help you along the way. That's really it. I kind of just wanted to come on here and ramble about that for a little bit. Thank you guys for listening. Appreciate the support. Those of you that do support, appreciate it all. Go ahead if you're on the audio version. 
check out my YouTube channel. If you're on the YouTube channel, then obviously you're on the YouTube channel. So if you want these podcast episodes two days early in audio form, go ahead and check it out in the links in the description. We are on Google Podcasts, Anchor, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you get your podcast word, we're there. So, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Follow me on social media and stuff. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys for coming out, man. The only thing I got to say is peace. Bye.